officers of the Electoral Commission who have been sacked for sending the voters register to the to a house where Dr. Mahmoud Baobian was reported to have been waiting for them to go through his the verification process. And Anthony Cabo is a member of the New Patriotic Party and he's joined us on the phone. Anthony, good evening to you if you can hear me. Good evening. Thank you, my brother. So what what is your side of the story? Is it true that uh, the officials of the Electoral Commission uh, by name Jobe Ambrose and uh, Mumuni Latifa went to meet Dr. Mahmoud Bahamia somewhere in Walla Walla. Is it true? Yeah. Um, first of all, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, we have indicated in much uh, earlier interviews that uh, Dr. Mahmoud Bahamia joined the request by the two electoral commission staff to verify or, you know, if we cross-check on the electoral role. Uh, Anton Cabo, I, I, I didn't hear you well. I said you have indicated in much earlier interviews yes. that when Dr. Bahamudu Baumia was approached by these electoral officers, he had indicated to them that uh, he would come to the polling station himself to get himself verified. And I think that is the circumstances surrounding, um, you know, a side of our side of the story because uh, I don't know and I haven't seen the report letter commission indicating or stating the reasons or particular reasons why these officers uh, were being terminated from the exercise. So, so as far as I know, yeah. um, they made an approach. They approached Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia. We don't know whether it was a bait or anything of that uh, to get himself um, cross-checked or get his name cross-checked. And he declined the offer and proceeded to the polling center, which is indeed very close to his residence in uh, in Pirga, the village where he comes from. So, did Dr. Mahmoud Bamia go to the registration center, or the I electoral said that officers the came to his house? The registration center is close to his house. It's very close. It's very close proximity to his house where he lives in the village. And um, those of you who know Pirga very well can attest to this fact that uh, indeed since 1992 where that police station has been created, it has always been uh, very close to the residence or uh, chief palace of the Pilga uh, uh, traditional area. And so that is where Baumia hails from. So these people approached him and uh, he indicated quite clearly to them that, well, I will still come to the police station to get myself verified. And I think that is the side of story we know. And uh, so the circumstances around which these electoral officers have been, uh, you know, suspended. Uh, we cannot uh, speak to that. So, did he do his verification in his house? I mean, verification is free, and uh, nobody, uh, uh, or, you know, could help anybody to go and verify. Dr. Baumia has been verified at the polling station where he registered, and as far as oh, that is the side of our story. So th does he know the two officers personally, if you claim they approach him? What do you mean does he know them personally? People walk up to your, up your house and tell you that they are electoral commission staff manning a police station close to your residence. I mean, that's the only personal contact you have with such persons. I don't understand when you say does he know them personally or does he know them to the regular people. We are not involved in how the electoral commission recruit staff to do these exercises. So it will be very difficult for us to say if you know these people personally or not. There's an allegation that they received 10,000 Ghana cities from I Dr. Mean, Mahmoud Baum. I mean, completely. The NDC is looking for anything to hold on in respect of this matter. That is ludicrous and that is completely bogus. And uh, we are not going to waste any time at all. I mean, why do you pay 10,000 to get a, a name check and register which every citizen, every Ghanaian goes to do for free? Would, would, would cost you less than a minute to get your name checked. I mean, why would you pay 10000 That's completely ludicrous. I think that Ghanaians can read through, the, through this. People can see that this is a desperate attempt to smear a man who, uh, 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 you know, is very poised for this election uh, going forward. Thank you, Anthony Cabo. He's a member of the New Patriotic Party. And uh, he was speaking to the issue concerning two officers who are reported to have been sacked by the Electoral Commission for sending the voters' register and the verification machine to the house of MPP running mate Dr. Mahmoud Baumia.